Hello, I'm Samuel Rütsche. I was part of Aris Picard and uh, I was a structural engineer. Picard was a project to build a sounding rocket. This was within the association of Aris and we came together as students to build a sounding rocket that took to the sky. I would say our biggest success was coming together as a group of students who were sometimes entirely inexperienced to build a rocket within one year that is six meters long, 100 kilograms heavy, and it flew up to six and a half kilometers. Three, two, one, ignition. We have an ignition. <laughs> left the launch rail perfectly straight into the sky. That was a beautiful launch of Picard into the Portuguese sky. We use 3D printing technologies in the rocket on one hand for parts where conventional machining was not an option or very expensive. And on the other hand, we use those parts uh, to create rapid prototypes and uh, get an intuition of what a certain part or mechanism looks like. The parts that Syntatec provided to us, they are used in the hinge mechanism this hinge mechanism is needed in the rocket for a hatch that closes the rocket fairing when the filling nozzle disconnects. This happens just before liftoff and that way we have a nice and smooth rocket fairing that is able to fly up in the sky. The technology that was used to produce these parts is SLS and we used a polyamide material. I think SLS technology can be used very well in rocketry and aerospace technologies because it enables sometimes to create very light parts or to integrate several functions into one part. And this is a big advantage that can be exploited in aerospace. It was nice to have these professionally made Syntatec 3D printed parts in our rocket. This added some value, but more importantly, this made sure that the parts within our rocket didn't melt away when it was standing in the sun, and therefore it contributed to the successful launch that we had in October. 